Hello fellow brothers, I'm Karis Stein, and it is time to give my 100% honest review of the most recent Brawl Stars update. Now, I typically do this after every Brawl Stars update and take a moment to just kind of like share how I'm currently feeling about the game as well as review what just was added to the game. As always, guys, I'm going to be 100% completely honest whether I really like it or whether I dislike it. And there are some things that I'm really happy with, but also with the most recent update, there are some things that I actually don't like and uh, they're big things now, as a reminder guys i stream brawl stars on twitch three days a week every week and whether i'm hosting a competitive tournament or pushing my main account or just playing with viewers it's a ton of fun guys and i would love for you guys to come join me there's a link to my twitch channel in every video so come on and follow now let's go ahead and start off by talking about the newest brawler to the game 8-bit man guys i have been loving 8-bit okay within a few hours after waking up and installing the update i had pushed him all the way up to 750 trophies and had a a blast doing it. Also, if that's not impressive enough, I did so playing with randoms in Siege before unlocking his star power. In fact, the gameplay that you're watching right here is actually some replays of my last few matches. So, now there are a lot of different reasons why I like Abit. First of all, I love his artwork and his voice lines. His personality is great. Together, it really gives me that nostalgic feeling of like playing very old arcade games, which I think is kind of like what they were going for, obviously. Um, I don't actually think the 8-bit is too strong, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I was, when playing with randoms, I was getting star player almost every single match, but there were a lot of factors that led to having such a good push. First of all, the map was perfect for 8-bit because it was very open and long range. Second of all, most long-range long brawlers like Piper and Brock aren't actually very good at Siege because they lack consistent DPS, and that mean, meant that I had the longest range in the map most of the time. Additionally, Dynamite, the teammate that I was playing with, Dynamite, we almost played 50 matches together, and uh, <laughs> despite him not being very maxed, we, he, he crushed it. He did very, very well. He always opened up the wall to let the bot get into the turret and allowed me to have easy access to shoot, to suit to shoot the safe from a safe distance as well. Additionally, we also really focus on team gameplay and utilize my turret to help maximize damage a lot. Now, with all that said, guys, 8-bit is incredibly slow. It's very difficult for you to dodge shots, and it takes forever for 8-bit to pick up bolts or like get in position to like attack a siege turret. I mean, I haven't actually played him in other modes aside from Showdown or Siege, but after playing him a lot in Siege, I really don't think he's going to be very good in Gem Grab or Brawl Ball, except for on very wide open maps. I could definitely see him being very useful in Heist once again on wide open maps. As far as originality goes, 8-bit feels kind of like a cult a little bit, but the fact that he's slow makes him a fun addition to the game. Um, also, his super does something that no other brawler can do in the entire game, and it's amazing at improving that team gameplay. I think Supercell did a fantastic job with 8-Bit, and I especially like that he's a free brawler on the trophy road that most of you guys have probably unlocked. Now, let's talk about that Piper rework. Honestly, guys, the more that I play Piper, the more that I love this change. I really didn't know how I felt when I first saw it, but I can confidently say that I love it now. But... If we're talking about her brawler icon, that is another story. First of all, she doesn't have any teeth, which looks a little weird. Second, her eyebrows in her 3D model are blonde, and in her profile picture, they're black, and they just look really weird on her. And then also her nose is like pointed up a little bit. I think it's pointed too much. I think it makes her look way too intense, and I would really love if Supercell updated it. I know that this isn't a huge deal, but based off of how many memes I've been seeing in the subreddit going on about this, my guess is that Supercell will make some sort of change in the future. And next, let's talk about the newest skins, starting off with Classic 8-Bit. Now, this is the first time that a new brawler has been released with a skin. In fact, Rosa. Rosa doesn't have a new skin. BB doesn't have a new skin. Lots of the new brawlers don't have new skins. And I think it's actually kind of funny because it, as a 30-gem skin, it's just a recolor. So I like actually forget which is 8-Bit's original skin and which is its newest one. Seriously though guys, I do love getting new skins with a new brawler. I don't know if I'm 100% right, but I think that it's a reference to the Super Nintendo, you know, with like the color that it is and also the, the red and the direction of the D-pad or maybe like the original Game Boy, which either one, either one, pretty epic. I'm a big fan of Nintendo, um, so you know, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, now the skin isn't anything super fancy, but it's actually kind of hard to notice in, mid in the middle of the match that somebody's using a skin because 8-Bit's main body is still like very similar color. I know it's got a little bit more 
I have a blue hint to it, his main, his normal one, but but you can tell that there's a difference. Um, and and it only costs 30 gems, and that that is something that I'm super excited about because we have been asking for cheaper skins for a while now, and we finally got it. I love that they did that. Now, additionally, the Shark Leon skin is also pretty cheap at only 80 gems. It doesn't do anything special like throw out shark teeth or anything like that, but it does look very different than regular Leon, which is very awesome. I think it's actually pretty well priced for an 80 gem skin, and the, the, the theme really fits Leon very, very well as like another animal. Now, the only brawlers that do not have skins in the game are Tick, Rosa, Pam, BB, Jean, and Brock. I really think that Brock needs a skin. Clearly I'm joking guys, come on! Next we have the Iris Terra skin, and this is also really awesome! I don't really have anything to say about it other than the fact that it's a great value for only 500 star points. Now they did a little, it was mostly a recolor, but they did add a few golden decorations to complete the skin. It's just as much as Outlaw Colt, um, for reference there, 500 star points. And on the flip side we also have Pink Piper, which is, I think is only a recolor, I didn't see anything additional. Once again though, I love this skin. I definitely think it's worth the 500 star points. It's funny though because it seems to be Blue Piper is the more rare Piper now, which is for regular skin. It, it's funny. Now let's talk about the map rotation changes. I'm gonna miss Thousand Lakes and a couple of the Siege maps, but other than that, I don't really have much to say about the maps specifically. But what I do not like is the fact that they made the third slot entirely Brawl Ball and put Bounty, Heist, and Siege all in slot four. I I really dislike this change a lot. Now I feel like Supercell had the perfect mode rotation before. Brawl, Brawl Ball is my least favorite mode and Siege and Heist are my favorites. Before, even if Brawl Ball was up, I at least had to choose between like Bounty or Heist, you know? Now it's every single day, which I really dislike. Now I understand why Gem Grab has to be first and why it has to have its own slot because it's an introductory mode to new players and they have to have something consistent when they first get in there. I also understand why Showdown has its own slot because it's the most popular out of all of the modes and is different than the other modes. But from my perspective, it doesn't make sense for the third slot to always be Raw Ball, even if it is the most loved 3v3 mode by most players, according to a poll that I recently had. I know that I'm in the minority, <laughs> but I want Siege and I want Heist more often, not less. I really felt like having the last two events rotate between the last two modes was the best compromise for all players. They've been messing with modes and rotations for a long time and they finally hit the sweet spot and now I want it back since they changed it. Now if for some reason Supercell is set on having Brawl Ball to be fixed in the third slot, I would be happy with a different solution. That solution would be to make Heist, Bounty, and Siege all rotate in the fourth event slot but during the weekdays, when the special event, the fifth slot, is closed, personally, I would love it if they also rotated with that fifth event slot. If they're not wanting to give us a, an additional star token every day, I would be happy with that, even if they didn't do that. But if they really wanted to do something else, they could also make it so that they could, so the players could earn 10 star points for the first victory instead for all, all the weekdays. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about Brawl Ball being the only event slot in, or the only event in the third slot. Do you agree with me? Do you love this change? Do you hate it? I don't know. I, please, let me know in the comment section below because I want to get a good idea of what my viewers think before I go back to Supercell and give them my feedback. I mean, unless Supercell is watching right now, which... That would be pretty dope. Up next, guys, we're going to talk about the star point rewards and then also the new trophy progression changes. Okay, guys, these changes are very close to being perfect with with some things that need to be changed. And I'm going I'm to talk about those things that I, I really, I strongly think need to be changed. But first, let me talk about the good things, okay? Starting off with the biggest thing, and that is that for the first time in over a year since I pushed my final brawler to 500 trophies, I finally have a natural goal that I want to complete that isn't like ridiculously insane like being the number one player in the world. Currently, my goal is to push all my brawlers to about 650 trophies with randoms, you know, with some other people here and there, but once I'm there, I'll get some solid teammates and start pushing them all to 750 trophies. I'm loving playing the game and I feel like I'm accomplishing something every single time I play since the ranks of my brawlers are increasing every single time. I love it. And the bonus star points are very welcome. 
I do think that Golden Crow and Golden Bow are still way too expensive though, and this is one of my biggest feedbacks right here. Here's why, okay? Let's say you're the you not the most skilled player, but you do play the game enough. If you push all of your brawlers from 525 to 550 trophies, okay? We're talking about rank 20 to rank 21. Every two weeks, for every single season, you will earn about 2,000 star points every season. Once again, every two week season. In order for you to push the 50,000 star points required for Golden Bow and Crow skin, or just one of them, it will take an entire year for you to do that. And in order for you to cut that time down to half of that, to half of a year, which is still a long time, you have to push every brawler three times as much from 575 to 650 trophies every two weeks. And in order for you to do that with zero losses, that's going to require 40 minutes every single day for half a year, once again, with zero losses. That time increases to roughly an hour for every single day if you know for six months if you lose one every two victories which is probably more normal for most players an hour every single day for six months for one skin one skin for six months of consistently pushing every single brawler and here's the craziest part by the time you get that one skin supercell's likely gonna add two more star point skins that are all, both worth fifty thousand each I mean, even if you're incredibly skilled, you have to be insanely hardcore to unlock everything. And for 99.9% .9 of the player base, not only is it not going to happen, but it's completely futile. It's not even a goal that 99% of the players should ever even have. Most of you guys are going to be saving up the star points for the Mega Box and the Big Box special offers because, like, because most of you guys can't gem like I can. I, you can't justify his business expense like I can. Now, like I said, I think that these changes are a huge benefit in the right direction, but I still think that Supercell really needs to add more ways for us to earn more star points, or they need to decrease the price of the most exclusive skins, because by that point, they're encouraging bad habits, bad life habits, and I know that Supercell is not about that. Now, we talked about Supercell improving the star point rewards, but there's another big issue that I think Supercell really needs to improve as well. I want you to listen to this. I want you to think about this. I know you're thinking about this gameplay going on right here, but there is another issue, and that is that, to my knowledge, there is only one player in the entire history of Brawl Stars that has ever gotten enough trophies on a single brawler to reach rank 35 at 1,250 trophies. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is YDE who has reached 1,250 trophies with not only Spike, but BB as well, and there is a good reason for why Nobody's doing that, okay? When you reach 1,000 trophies, in order for you to continue to climb, you have to win three matches for every single loss if you want to gain trophies. And you only gain five trophies at a time. When you reach 1.1 thousand trophies, in order for you to continue climbing, you have to win four matches for every single loss if you want to gain trophies, and you only gain four trophies at a time. But once you reach rank 34 at 1,000, 200 trophies you still have to push those final 50 trophies which doesn't sound like uh, like a lot to reach that rank 35 but in order for you to gain trophies you have to win five matches in a row for every single loss and you only gain three trophies at a time and by this point not only are you playing against the highest skilled players in the game literally the best of the best but the matchmaking becomes incredibly long. We're talking about up to 10 minutes of matchmaking between every single two minute match. So for that stretch between 1200 and 1250 trophies, you have to win 17 matches and wait for the matchmaking during that time as well. In order for you to do that, we're talking about three and a half hours with zero losses. And for every loss that you take, that's going to increase that time by an entire hour because you're not just playing against random people, you're playing against the best players in the, in the world. And so, unless Supercell reworks this trophy system, as it is up until rank 35, almost nobody watching this video will ever have the skill, or ever have the time, or should they ever take the time to push a single brawler up to rank 35, ever. And you can completely forget about getting all of your brawlers to rank 35. I mean, I, I love Brawl Stars more than almost anybody, but unless you're a YouTuber, or you're a streamer, or you're making money off of Brawl Stars in some other way, I hope that you are spending your time doing something else because that is absolutely insane and 
And, and at that point, once again, Supercell is encouraging bad life habits. Now, don't get me wrong here, guys. I love that Supercell is providing endgame players with a reason to push. And personally, I'm loving the game more than I ever have in the history of Brawl Stars. And I literally mean that. I'm loving it more than I ever have. But they really need to rework the trophy system um, in some way up until... 35 trophies because as it is right now it's just unhealthy and uh you know I, i'm all for those good goals I, I think that's fantastic but you need to be able to reach those goals if you have the time over a long period of time and the the, the season resets every two weeks so in order for you to do that you have to be playing way too much that is healthy now as a side tangent Something else that needs to be fixed with trophies is how they are actually rewarded in Showdown, the higher up you get in trophies. There's actually a lot of organized teaming where people just jump on a Discord server, chat with their friends, and rig matchmaking so that they can team without the threat of getting backstabbed. And I think that's totally unfair. I don't think that Supercell wants that to be in the game. And I think that decreasing the amount of trophies won at the competitive level would go a long way in improving that without actually like hurting Showdown or changing something crazy. Okay, I know that I kind of went on a bit of a rant there. I just I just don't like the way that it's currently set up. And uh, overall, I would say that this this update was a 7 out of 10. There wasn't a whole lot of like new content that Supercell actually gave us, but I, I'm okay with that because Supercell did give us this update with a very fast turnaround after they returned from their vacation. I think we're talking like three weeks, which is fantastic. They also gave us a new brawler, which is very awesome. Um, I haven't even touched on balance changes because I haven't had enough time to feel out all of them yet. But so far, things are looking pretty good. And Supercell really did add a lot of things into the game the community has asked for for a long time. I still think the star points and trophies need some more tweaks. That's easy for them to address. I'm also hoping for them to revert the changes of the event rotation. But like I said, guys, I have been loving Brawl Stars more than I ever have. I would seriously love to know what you think of the current state of the game as well as what you think of the most recent update. Please let me know and don't forget to subscribe for more Brawl Stars videos and while you're at it of course follow me on twitch and catch up on my live streams as well it's a ton of fun for now guys this is kairos time ticking by and we will see you in brawl stars